Ta-da! The present in... No, bet you weren't expecting that. Anyways, hello. Um, it feels like I haven't done a video in a very long time, and that's probably because I haven't, technically. Even though I put my wig review out, like, a little over a week ago, I actually filmed it June 11th. So, it has been a very long time since I've actually filmed a video. So, here we are, and I am doing my FAQ today. So, on that note, let's get started. So, question number one is the ever so popular WHERE DO YOU GET YOUR CLOTHES FROM? And I'm actually going to answer this time. And so, the answer is I get my clothes from Refuse To Be Usual on eBay, also known as Run Nikki Run or RTBU, from Jill underscore Punk X Lowly, also known as, like, Mystery Wonderland, also on eBay, from Bodyline, local stores in my area, and Handmade By My Sister. <laughs> that is basically it. Next question, which fits with the first one, is what made you change your mind about telling people where you get your wigs and clothes from? And basically, people started getting really upset and arguments were breaking out and people were not being very nice. Um, so basically it just ended up being more frustration than it was worth and it was kind of silly, I guess. A silly idea, I guess. Like, I, I had good intentions, but they weren't communicated very well, and in the end it just ended up being easier to tell you guys than trying to, you know, keep explaining and blah 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 and... and, and yeah, so anyways, um, I want to move past that because it was kind of a dumb stage and I'm hoping you guys can too because, again, it was a dumb stage and... Yeah, there's that. Okay, so, uh, then next question is... What does my sister look like? Uh, well, a lot of people think that we're twins, yet we look nothing alike. But seriously, um, she might be in a video sometime in the future. Not sure when, but we've talked about it, and yeah, she'll probably be in some of my videos sometime soon. So, I, yeah, I can't really describe what she looks like, it's just, she's her. <laughs> so, you guys will just have to wait until she's in a video. Okay, next question is, when did you get into the Decora slash Fairy K, and how old were you? Uh, I was in grade 9, so... I guess technically almost four years ago. I started out as like a decora lobby thing and then I got into Fairy K a little over a year ago. Next question is what style were you before you got into decora slash Fairy K? Um, I wasn't really a style, I was just like that that wannabe something other than mainstream type teenager thing where you wore like the emo gloves and had like blonde black and blue hair and yeah I was like 12, 13, yeah, so. Next question is, how do you afford all your wigs and clothes? And the answer is that I have a part-time job. I work at a movie theater. <laughs> I get paid minimum wage and I just save up my paychecks. And basically, I guess, I don't have a car. I don't pay for my cell phone bill because we're on a family plan. Um, I don't smoke, drink, do drugs. If I ever hang out with friends, it's like something you don't have to pay money to do like going and hanging at a park or something like that like basically I just save up my money and then splurge yay okay next question what is your favorite movie my answer is kind of a tie between three things Tangled, Pride and Prejudice, and Howl's Moving Castle okay uh, next question is how do you dress according to weather and seasons and Basically, for colder weather, I wear more layers and usually wear like nylons instead of socks. And for hotter weather, I wear less layers and less tutus and socks over nylons and usually shorter wigs than longer wigs, etc. Next question is, does your sister dress Decora as well? And no, she doesn't. She's actually getting into Mori Girl. So we're kind of on opposite ends of the Japanese fashion thingy. Okay, next question. What is the worst wig you have ever ordered? Actually, I'm sorry to say, but I don't own it anymore. I threw it out when I cleaned my room because it was just so horrible. <laughs> it is the black wig I used for my Alice on Acid shoot and in the bloopers of my filler video thingy. Um, it is horrible. I ordered it from a Chinese eBay seller so I can't show you that one, but I bought two wigs from the company, so I'll show you the other one. 
it's my short little boy cut one kind of and the fibers are hard and tangly and you can't even really get your fingers to the back here yeah anyway it's just it's cheap it's painful to wear like the fibers touching like your eyelids and stuff scratches them it's itchy it's hot it's disgusting it smelled horrible it's just worst purchase ever but I paid like nine bucks for this one ten bucks for the other one so yeah you definitely get what you pay for the uh, last question is very random do you ever wonder if cats wonder why people pet them uh no I don't because they're probably just like hmm I get to rub my scent on you for free and I don't have to do any effort yay so yeah never really wondered that so that's it for the official FAQ, I guess. Um, before any of you guys ask, this wig is from Gothic Leader Wigs, but it's not one of their regulars. It's a uh, custom I did, so it's not actually up for purchase. Also, I don't know how many of you guys, you know, are following my Facebook page thingy or anything like that, but I've been posting some pictures there and such, and some of you guys were requesting that I do the uh, pink, green, and yellow makeup from, like, two of the pictures uh, in a tutorial, so I guess I'm going to do that. I just don't know when. Alright, so I guess that's it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye! Why you turn my finger blue, silly ring?